morning everybody. It's a beautiful day here and we're now leaving Capitol Reef even though it's a beautiful day. But we are going to Bryce Canyon National Park. Really looking forward to going Bryce and checking out that spot. Oh, and before we get going, I wanna let you know that the how much does van life cost video that I filmed with Katie the other day, that is up ready live for you to see it. If you haven't seen it already, I'm gonna put a card up here so that you can just click on that card and go see it. Definitely check it out. I really like how that video turned out. I'm also gonna be looking to put together more videos of like van life kind of Q and A style stuff. So if you have any specific video ideas or titles, let me know what they are. I wanna know. And I'm also looking to collaborate with some other van lifer people. So if you know van lifer people, people that travel full time, or if you're a van lifer and travel full time and want to be in a video, let me know. Let's collab. Let's do something cool. But for now, let's go to Bryce Canyon National Park. Oh yeah, yeah, we're good. We're just playing this now. Thanks, cheers. <laughs> Smells like Christmas. Snow and pine trees in May. <laughs> oh yeah. It's snowing. It's yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. I've been in this area before, and the last time I was here was with Michaela and it looked, this was all covered in snow, and now it's finally spring, but holy crap. So we had the option to go a different route to Bryce Canyon National Park, but it's not that scenic and not that cool, and quite honestly, I really wanted to show my mom a couple of the places that I camped, like this one here. So, adventure continues. getting her stamp for because we made it to Bryce Canyon National Park. It only took a few hours, wasn't that bad. We're now trying to figure out kind of what to do after after mom gets her stamps done. Check out this really cool donation box that the park has at the visitor center. It has all the different flags of different countries. So whatever country you're from, if you want to donate to the park, you can put it there and see who else is donating from your country and other countries. I like it. That's pretty cool. Left the visitor center with a little bit of a game plan, and that game plan, we decided to come to the furthest back part of the park called Rainbow Point and Yovempa Point, and then we kind of figured we'll just work our way back, and then I'm kind of hoping we get to be at Sunset Point for sunset, and that'd be awesome to get some really cool sunset photos. But if not, then, then we're not, no big deal. This park is crazy. Last year I was here during Memorial Day weekend, and that was a terrible idea because it was so crowded, but it's slightly, it's a lot less crowded right now. And I'm really enjoying myself a lot more. There's all these conifer trees around here up at this elevation. We're at almost 9,000 feet right now. And it is gorgeous. So much better than the last time. I had my reservations about coming back here, but I'm definitely glad I came back. Now I'm no tattletale, and I'm also not one to follow the rules all the time, but come on, when there's a sign there that says, don't walk over here, and if you get caught, you're gonna get a $100 fine, like, come on. That guy kinda cheesed me off a little bit, but whatever, to each his own, I guess. I also just really wanna set a good example for people. They're obviously trying to help the vegetation in that area, and that's just not helping, and the more people that go over there, just not a good thing. Also, check out what I just set up. This is really fun. Should we move that box? Come on, this is just really funny. Like, check this out. I'm, it almost looks like I camped out at Ponderosa Point, but I didn't, but it looks really cool. My mom brought me a present from Florida. It's this really cool pillow right here. A friend of ours makes them. They're called Perfectly Pillows. I'll link her in the description below, but <laughs> They're really awesome, they're custom made pillows. And it's cool too because it's got the state of Florida on it. And there's a star right where my parents live. 
and I grew up like right around there. But that's now sort of kind of home. So it's pretty cool. This. this dude over here in the lime green jacket over there hops the fence to get five or six inches closer to get a photo. I really don't understand it because I mean seriously that guy right there that's climbing over. You got to get that close to get right there to get a better photo than this. Really? Come on. I don't think so. I don't know mom I think you need to hop over the fence to get a better photo. I think it would look so much better if you just hop right over here and then shoot out there and still have everything right here and put absolutely nothing in the foreground. I think that'll look really good. But that's just me. All right, it sounds good, cool. Cool, sounds good. I won't record you, don't worry. No problem. right here is a really cool hoodoo. It's probably one of the most famous. It's called Thor's Hammer. Pretty obvious to see. And people were making fun of me as I was taking pictures because I was laying in the ground trying to get some different angles of that. But whatever, you guys got a little dirty, but hey, that's okay. I think it's totally worth it. Mom didn't come down here. That was kind of a bummer, but she made it down a little bit though. So I'm gonna go see her again. We were talking on the way back up here and that literally you put sunset into any viewpoint and nine times out of ten you're just gonna have people setting up tripods come sunset time. Mom, how you feeling? Good. <laughs> we're, in like, we're in like 8,000 feet. She went down halfway to Thor's Hammer, which is terrific. Absolutely great for her. She's also coming from sea level still and well, not quite yet acclimatized, so. Coming. How do you feel about oxygen, Mom? I love oxygen. I should have a more. <laughs> She's just gonna be running marathons next week back in Florida. <laughs>